Now, uh, tomorrow we will have a uh, lab session. So if you, tomorrow you guys cannot finish within two hours, you can continue the next week, right? So tomorrow, we're now in week five. So tomorrow you go to uh, E03, uh, sorry, 04, M20, right? E4 M18. Okay, it's a dynamic lab. So where does this lab is? Uh, um, this is the car park at the back. Right, this is a car park and in front here you have a uh, You have a fab lab and all this, right? You have a fabrication lab. This is on ground floor. So what you do, you go upstairs. You go upstairs. Uh, I think the second lab, this is M1. Okay, this is a uh, second floor. Or we call it first floor. Right, means you go one level up. You go to the second room there. All right. So tomorrow, wear cover shoes. Uh. Guys, wear cover shoes. Uh. Uh, ladies also. All right. Wear cover shoes. All right. You can wear short pants or any pants uh, you want to wear. All right. But your feet must be covered uh, tomorrow. Uh. If not, then tomorrow you have to go out and uh, borrow shoes from your friend. Okay, tomorrow our rep will be 8 to 10. So if you cannot finish, continue week 6. Huh? Okay. Today we are focusing on the lab. So for, me uh, for mechanical guys, you have 6. So 3 people, 1 group. Sorry, uh, mechanical you have 4. So 2, two, two form 1 group. Uh, civil you guys, uh, 6, uh, 3. Three of you form one group. Okay. MB two per group. CE three per group. Okay. So this report is submit maybe week twelve. So now it's a uh, week five. Week six. Your report I expect you to submit in week 12. So there is a six week in between. Huh? So no reason you don't know or you cannot submit. Huh? So submit on Canvas. Huh? All the lab sheet information, like what you see on the screen here, is available on, on the Canvas. So before tomorrow, please read. Um, at least you go through uh, the lab sheet. Um, yeah, if you can, you print out because it will help you to conduct your experiment more easily. Okay, so what we do for experiment. Huh? So tomorrow you just go in and then uh, the lab tech will, will, will demo to you how to do it. And then you rotate. Huh? You rotate among yourself, complete all the experiment. Huh? So you have five experiments. Okay, five experiments. So experiment one is normal and tangent. What does this do? Right, it's basically studying the circular motion. So for the first experiment, you'll be seeing a circular machine with two rotating belt there. Right? So this one is weight. Lah. Okay, you have a weight there or mass. Then these things connect at the center. So this thing will rotate. Okay, this thing will rotate. Okay. Mass one, mass two. So mass one, mass two, tomorrow lab tech will, 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 will tell you how to do it. And this weight, the, the parameter that can change uh, for first experiment is the mass on left hand side, right hand side. Parameter number two is the length of 
the arm here. The length of the arm for that one. Okay. So this one, and then there is a once you turn on the machine, and then there is a button here, you can rotate. You can control the RPM, revolution per minute. You turn. Then here got two display here. One is revolution, where you turn this one, the number here is changing. Then you will see a force measure from here. Okay, it's a force measure from here. So basically, when this thing turn, you know that there is an acceleration. Um, okay, so basically, you are you are learning about the F equal to R multiplied by not, not F momentum, right? Momentum. Okay, um, this one is the next chapter we're going to go in. So we're going to use F equal to MA. But you change the A because this is the rotation. The A is, the formula will change to M V square over R. Okay, then the V will be R omega. This omega revolution per minute is over here. You read from the here. So uh, when you conduct the first experiment, what you do, you rotate the RPM, then you get the reading. Okay, you rotate the the revolution, then you get one reading, the, the force that acting on the sensor here. Okay, then you link this formula inside here. Huh? So there is a table inside the experiment uh, lab sheet there. Can you read? Huh? So you need to uh, fit the RPM, means you, you turn the RPM, then you record, you can, you can, once you have the RPM on the machine, you convert the N, this one during the experiment, but this one you can go home and calculate. The formula of omega is two pi N divided by 60, it become radian per second, from round, round uh, revolution per minute into radian per second. Right, how this formula come from? One revolution equal to three sixty degree. Okay, but you need to change to radian. Three sixty equal to two pi radian. Okay, so you change from revolution. How many revolution per minute into uh, radian per second. You do conversion. Okay. Now, once you have the omega radian per second, you can convert to speed uh, uh, or velocity. Right. So velocity equal to r omega. So this one we will learn in a later chapter. But at this stage, you just follow the formula. You calculate. So you only need to do the n. Wait until the value stable. The, the, the value for the force table, then you do the this, this calculation at home. Then this is you record. So there are two readings you need to read from the first experiment. One is the N, one is the force. Okay. Then theory you need to calculate based on these two values. This value, this MV square divided by R, this one is you need to calculate. What is this R? R here is fixed, uh, 0 0.125 m is here, is the length here. This is R. So these two sides must be balanced, uh, it must be the same. Uh. For the first experiment, you do 0 0.125 meter, there's a ruler given to you. 
So you need to adjust the screw here. Adjust the screw, fix the distance from here to here. Okay. Then you find the percentage of error between experiment and theory. Find the error. Okay. Can I? So this is the first experiment. Second experiment, use the same instrument. You change something from the parameter. This one you read, huh? Second experiment, you fix the end. You fix the end and then you fix the mass. Then you calculate the, you, you find the, the radius of, uh, not. Uh, you fix this RPM, you fix the mass, and then you change the radius. You change the radius. Okay, you change the, the distance from the center to the mass here. Okay, so first experiment, you fix the radius, you change the end for first experiment. Second experiment, you change you change the R. You fix the weight, you, you fix the revolution, but you change the length. Then you see what is the, the force that you measure. Understand? Understand? So this is the second experiment. Huh? The third experiment. Is pendulum. So this one is quite boring. Experiment two. You will see apparatus. Uh, yeah. Okay. So there is apparatus of pendulum. Okay. Then there is a hook here. Okay. Then there is a center that you hook the thing. You need to change the location of this circuiting to a different location. So we can start, you need to measure from here to here to the center of the this here. This is L1. Then you swing. Okay. Then you move to one lock location. This one you decide. Eh? The location, the, 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 how far you want to pull, you decide. Okay. You decide, let's say you pull to here. Then you let go. Once you let go, you start the time. You start the time, then count. How many oscillation, uh, how, uh, how many oscillation or what is the time that you need? Huh? There's an equation or everything on the, on the, on the lab sheet. Okay, go and read. Huh? So the first, table you need to fill in is distance from fever to the center of gravity. What does it mean? It means from the instrument itself, you measure from the top to the center of the disc. So the first one, you, you can set. Uh, so there are three locations here. So you can start from the below to the center. Uh. Okay. Let's say the first one you set at 42 cm. First one, huh? let's say. Then you do, you count. Okay, you set the thing already. Then you pull the, the, the disc to the left hand side. To the disc with the left hand side. Then once you let go, you start the time. Count means 
you you pull to here, man. So you just you 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 let your eyes to face the original location. One is let go. You can you can put out your fan like your hand like that, lah. Then you count. One revolution is what? Go here, come back here. One revolution. Okay. From the origin, uh, from the location you put you you let go means you you put your finger or you put something lah. You count. The counter is very important, ah. Don't change people for the experiment, ah. If the because the the people who is counting, if you change change member, the way of counting will be different. Uh, so be consistent with the 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 team member that you you put to count the oscillation. So you pull here, then you start also you swing. But that go here, go back, consider one oscillation. Okay, you count. Go back one, go back two, go back three until thirty. Once, twenty eight, twenty nine, swing, thirty. Stop the time. Or you can press the. You can use your phone. Your phone you have. Uh, you can pause the time and then can record, right? Uh, so do three times. Get average. So count. Off. One, two, three, four, thirty. Do three times, then forty. Okay. What I do, what I recommend is that you continue to record, ah, uh, like. 29, uh, 28, 29, sorry, uh, okay, go, 29, 30, you press the, the handphone, uh, your phone can record time on, uh. then continue, uh, 30, 31, 32, 33, until 40, record, then 50, continue, until, 49, 50, stop. So you get one set. Means you swing the experiment 50 times in one go. But you you, you stop stopwatch at 30, 40, and 50. So that you don't need like, okay, do 30, do 33 times, 43. You don't need, straight away do one go, do 50, but you stop, your you use your phone, Stop the time for three times. One stop at 30, start at 40, step at 50. Then use the print screen function, print screen the, the, the time there as a record. Then you put inside a report. Do this process three times. Means you swing the pendulum three times 50, rev, uh, 50 oscillation, three times. Okay. Then you get the average for one oscillation. You know how to calculate for one one oscillation, right? So this one, once you get the average, you this one divided by thirty, you get one one uh the time for one oscillation. You get the time here, you divide forty, you get one oscillation. Here also divide fifty, you get one oscillation. Okay, get average. Then put you in here. Repeat the experiment by changing the location of pivot. You've done the first set, change to the second set. Okay, then do, then change to the second set. You need to do three sets. Okay, you need to do three sets, and then there's a, there's a calculation inside the lab sheet. Go and read. Okay, and, there, and this is a very old experiment, uh, means is uh, lots of people already on conducted for more than thousand times, so there are lots of information about this experiment. Uh. So go and uh, read about the experiment. So experiment two, pendulum is quite boring, but it takes lots of time also. Okay. So manage your time properly, right? Okay. Third experiment. Next experiment is called crank and connecting rod. It's like a piston. So 
Um, on the desk, you see there's a link there. Uh, okay, this one tomorrow, you will see you have a few set of link. Different length of link. That you can, like a Lego, you take out and then you, you do. So what, what this experiment do is that, um, it's a robot arm. So this, this one you fix. This one also you fix. This one also you fix. And um, you can rotate this arm. So once you rotate, there's a distance you can measure. All right, robot arm, you, you connect the link according to tomorrow the lab tech will, will tell you you see the machine you know how, how it works already like. so there are three sides of this link so what you do you just change the link either here or here right put it change here then because it becomes shorter you will behave different length here so you rotate accordingly then you you do like. so there's an angle there Okay, experiment three, there's no table inside the. Uh, inside the lab sheet, I'm not supposed to give to you the table. You should design yourself. But let me see. Okay, experiment three, uh, tomorrow I will draw the table on the whiteboard. So basically this, uh, this uh, experiment number three, you rotate and then you measure the angle and the length of other, on other side. Okay, experiment number four and five, they are uh, computer controlled. What does it, what, what, what you need to do for four and five is a different separate table. Okay, this one. Basically, it's just a very, very simple experiment. You have a mass here, and this is the, there's a, there's a path here. So this is experiment, experiment acceleration due to gravity. So it means that if you let go the mass at a certain angle, this mass will go down. This mass will go down. So how you measure the thing? So there is a table inside the lab sheet also. Okay. This is measured by computer. There's a two sensor here. So this is sensor A, sensor B. This distance was fixed. That's let's say 50 cm. So this two was connected to computer. So from computer, you have an Excel sheet later inside the computer. 
So this computer measure the speed and acceleration for you. Before you conduct experiment number four, please check, make sure that the software have the correct setting, especially the length between the two arm here, uh, two sensor here. Uh, I noticed previous previous batch, there's one group. He didn't go and check. So the reading is actually off the chart. So we get zero marks for this experiment. Means totally wrong the experiment. Huh? He didn't go and check. So this experiment, uh, one group, it gets zero marks for this experiment. Report, huh? because everything is wrong already. Once you need to check huh, this one, go inside computer there, go and check. Okay, so here you will see you need to get nine reading. Okay, so here you have a, 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 a device like that. Right? You like a device like this, this, these things. So there is a vertical things like that. So what what is uh, changing in this experiment. So this one you put on top of here, then you let go, it will slide down. So you need to change two things on this object. It is at the bottom of that one, you can mount something. There's a Velcro that you can mount the object. Okay. So one object is wood, another one is the Oh, this one, sorry. This is uh, uh, this is this is the fifth experiment that I discussed about. So, what you do is that you change the material below the object. You can wood and plastic. Okay, you do two experiments. So one, you let go by uh, attaching the wood. Then you will slide down. So you you record the velocity and acceleration with the distance here. Huh? Then uh, also. This is experiment number five, huh? the one that I I mentioned on the whiteboard. This is a dry friction. Okay. Dry friction, the formula is to calculate the friction force. It is mu S N. You need to find this value. Okay. Then you might ask me, sir, how do I find how do I find the N? There's a mass here. So mass will give you weight. M G. So you need to measure the weight. The mass of the this one. Go and measure. Okay. Then you have this this thing already, and you have the height here. You have the distance here. Okay, H1 and 1. This is a right angle. You can find the angle here. Okay, find the angle here. So, once you have an angle here, you can convert this weight into two direction. Split this weight into two direction. Okay, this is your end. Oh, sorry, not M. This is uh, MG, and this is the contact surface M. Uh, okay. But anyway, tomorrow your task is to collect data. Uh, you still have six weeks to complete the report. 
uh, next lecture or uh, this Friday lecture, we will talk about all these things. All right, you learn about all these things. Huh? Okay, experiment number four. I'll go back. Huh? Experiment number four. Okay, experiment number four. Um, number Experiment number four. Still uh, different table. Huh? That is one table. This is another table. So what you do, you attach an object with a string. And there's a pulley here. And there's a mass here. There's, a, there's something that you can put in the mass here so that this one will pull this one down. Okay, This one will move out. Then also there's two sensor here. Sensor one, sensor two. Okay. So this one have one mass. Uh, this one last time I. Tomorrow, I will let you guys know. The, this mass is just a datum for to create the force to pull this object moving. What is important is to make this object moving. And this object here, you need to put, you can put the, some weight here. You can plus mass on this object. So that's why you see this experiment. There's a speed at A, speed at B. A, B. So this one computer will record for you earlier. Okay. Then the time also there. So what you do is that you use the mass and then you see what is the acceleration. You have the velocity, right? Velocity, you have two different velocity. You have the time. You can convert the changes of velocity become acceleration. Right. Who don't know how to convert? Who don't know how to convert? Who don't know how to convert? You have to speed and time. Okay, very simple mathematics. Huh? Okay, then this one will give you the formula. So it means the original mass plus mass multiplied by A, then what is the what is the force over here? Okay, so this is the thing. So um, read the read the this lab sheet before you go into the experiment. Huh? So today your homework is to download this document on the canvas. And then uh, try to understand what is expected, right? Uh, some of it you don't have diagram. Uh, so tomorrow when you when you in the lab, then you you then you will see the whole picture. Huh? 